All right, so they went into a secondhand Italian clothing shop. Occasionally violence breaks out, and I saw a mob last night of like fucking 40 dudes. What's up with it, youngins and youths? We are here in sunny Tirana, Albania. Now one of my favorite countries in the world. Uh, I just got back from a road trip all the way through the south. This place is so beautiful. Like you have no idea. And uh, like just the, the quality of the food we ate for the prices and the, I mean, this place is insane. And I'm definitely thinking of investing in the south. This is, uh, you know, this is a place that's special. It's very special, but you guys will see by the time this video is out, we're very backlogged. So a lot of this might be much later, but today is my aunt's last day in Tehran. So we're going to go walk around Tehran. There's a Darby on. So basically like two Tirana teams are like, you know, playing each other. So the fans are bidding who's the craziest and occasionally violence breaks out. And I saw a mob last night of like fucking 40 dudes rocking like their, uh, I guess their neighborhood, like uh, football team uh, banners and stuff and like looking to fucking scrap. So they were looking for the other team. Nobody bothered us and there's fucking heaps of cops, but <laughs> it might be an interesting day today. We'll see. We'll mostly show you a day in Tehran. We'll probably do a video with her and get her opinion but she's in a retirement age what she, if she would retire out here and we'll just do kind of like the last day of my aunts in town and showing her around and hopefully you guys dig it and uh, hopefully you know she can help people more in her age bracket about what an incredible place Albania would be to retire
Vodafone's contribution to Tirana. Mm. Do you like it or you don't like it? <laughs> no, you gotta say yeah or nah. Yeah or nah. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah. 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 What about you, Mish? Uh, yeah, nah. I guess I like it because Tirana is full of these kind of quirky things and, I, and that's part of what I like about the place. But I don't know, man. I don't like corporate sponsored art. Fuck that shit, you know? Community should be the ones building things like this. So you always got these guys selling used books. They're all over the city. It's uh, sunny as fuck, so you have to forgive me. But uh, yeah, these are cool. Everywhere, they're like these little makeshift shop kind of market stuff. I don't know. I really like Tirana. This town is uh, really nice. I could do without the Vodafone corporate art, but man, like the last couple days being all throughout the South, I think I'm gonna end up down there, but I'm actually really glad that I decided to come up here for a minute first because I'm getting to look at a place that's like just about to emerge on the world stage and it's really interesting. I feel like I'm starting to have a knack for this. Like, you know, I was I was in Vietnam right right before it got super, super good and then out right before it got super, super bad. And uh, I think I might have found another place where that's going to be true. Uh, because there's, this is like the most beautiful country, one of them I've been to. I mean, not all, not, I mean, you know, how do you pick one, you know? Like, Vietnam's crazy beautiful also, you know? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, Thailand, you know? I mean, these all these places are amazing, you know? They're just amazing for totally different reasons. But in terms of like emerging markets and economies, oh my God, man, I'm very happy I put down some time here, made a few friends and did some networking you know it was i mean it's the capital it's where if you want to do something this is where you're gonna to have to make it happen you know it's uh i don't know it's a nice lifestyle you know it's fucking low cost of living you know beautiful place tirana is the spot good food easy going people access to castles fucking nature um, other countries in very short distances. I mean, you know, there's just so many advantages, <laughs> you know, and, and so few people even know about this place. What do you think of the bridge? Pretty wow, interesting. Oh yeah, beautiful. Very cool. Didn't see this thing coming, huh? Yeah.
it's a dead end. But that still was pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's go the other way. Let's see what, what we find. So this is the best part of Tirana is sometimes these roads connect through and sometimes they just lead to these crazy dead ends. There's lemons. Uh, this guy's growing lemons behind me. And the alleyways are the most interesting part of the city, like 100% for me. I mean, you've got a couple of malls and shit, but like, I don't know, I'm much more happy walking through these streets. It's, it's just so much more interesting. Oh man, uh, after being in the south though, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I mean, that lifestyle is gonna be very hard to beat. <laughs> You know, that's the thing with Tirana, man, is it's an amazing place, but it is it is where all the population is. It's it's small, but it's crowded. Whereas like you go to like Saranda, in the summertime, that place is gonna be a shit show, but the rest of the year, man, it's like living in a small town, you know? But with like those big city anemones and, you know, just such a good geographic location. The reason we ended up here, guys, is because this is where you're gonna make connections. If you want to meet people who, you know, do things with law and immigration, well, you got to go to the capital, <laughs> you know? It's like uh, kind of one of those things that goes without saying. Um, in Saigon, it was a little different because Saigon is a money capital. You know, it's not, a, it's not the capital of Vietnam, it's the, it's the financial capital. But Albania is much smaller. And uh, most of the people who, you know, who can do things, a lot of them are going to be here. So we figured, you know, sacrifice living in paradise to, you know, maybe put something together. And so far it's been going okay. And we got a little bit of a business going. You know, we've been able to connect with our Albanian partner. So I don't really have any regrets.
So they went into a secondhand Italian clothing shop. So it looks like you can get things for about ten dollars to five dollars. So that, that's kind of hard to beat. Um, it's not an exact conversion, guys, but it's a rough conversion. Um, it's almost a hundred lek to the dollar. So I mean, this is very, very cheap. I'm gonna get their verdict and see what they think. If they liked it, if they think the quality is good, but for five or ten bucks, that's really not, you know, that's not a lot of money. You can shop very cheaply. Yeah, I thought it was like pretty good, pretty decent quality and really cheap. Very warm vest, good quality, $10 in yeah. US dollars. 10 US dollars. Italian, Italian second hand. Yeah, it's near the new bazaar, guys. What do you think of when you think of Albania? I think of opportunity. I think of a country that's open. I think of a country that wants long stay expats, that wants people to come and invest, wants new ideas, and is looking towards the West. I think that Albania is a beautiful country with incredible landscapes that can offer a very comfortable lifestyle at a very reasonable price. We will help navigate your journey to becoming an expat in Albania. We're working with some of the top lawyers. We can help establish businesses. We can help you get your residency. We can help you get real estate. We can arrange almost any contact that you might need for the process of moving here in almost any city in the country. We will simplify the process. We'll make it a lot easier for you to move to a country that maybe in the past would have been more of a challenge. With our help, it's gonna be a walk in the park. D from Canada, hook up with the New York Nomad if you want a smooth ride into Vietnam or any Southeast Asian countries. Hey, my name is Aaron. Get in contact with the New York Nomads. If you want to get into Vietnam, hit them up. They'll get you in securely and professionally. Yo, this is Uncle Hollywood. I'm telling you right now, the New York Nomad got me a job. He's legit. Hit him up. Check him out. New York Nomad set me up in Vietnam. <laughs> Yo, my man got me a job. Come to Vietnam. Hey, what's up guys? You thinking about coming to Vietnam? 
you're not sure where to start, you've heard a lot of things online, you don't know what's true, you don't know what's not, we offer a consulting service where we help you get on your feet in Vietnam. We give you advice on negotiating contracts with employers, we help you with real estate agents, visa agents that are reliable and that you can trust. We help you get started in this amazing country and get on your feet. We help you get into different opportunities that might be more difficult for you if you were just landing in the country on your own. And we help you avoid a lot of the, the pitfalls and problems that you could have as a newcomer here. We provide you with reliable job recruiters, visa agents, real estate agents, and advice. If you guys are thinking about coming to Vietnam, hit us up for a consultation. We'll help you get started, help you get on your feet, and hopefully you'll love Vietnam as much as we do.